Yo, what's good, YouTube? You're back with the Prez. And today's video is going to be my final workout before my competition. Like I said in my previous video, my 5x5 five five training, my routines are going to be tapering down now up until my competition. It is Monday, the week of my tournament. Remember, my tournament is Saturday the 17th. I have not told you guys the routine yet, except it's a weighted calisthenic routine, and it's going to be weighted pulls and weighted dips. 90% of the routine is going to be consisted of those two workouts. So, the last three weeks, most of my training has been specifically toward getting better at weighted pulls and dips. I, I've been training in all different weights, all different styles of training. And today you're going to see me implementing the same methods that I teach you guys on how to increase your max pulls and pushes. I'm going to be implementing these sets myself, training for a weighted calisthenics. Now, I'm going to have on different weights and I'm going to be doing different uh, methods throughout this whole session. It's going to be low volume though. Everything's going to be a few sets of everything. I'm not going to be burning out, but I'm going to be using each tool that I teach you guys. I'm going to be using them today myself so you guys can see how I utilize the same methods that I teach you guys, how to increase my reps and endurance and build strength at the same time. Now also, my pops is going to be with me today during the workout. He's going to be working on some strength building too. He's going to be starting his first workout with some shoulders. He's going to be doing a 5x5 five five with the bar. He's going to have on the 45 pound bar and he's going to be doing sets of 5. So you'll see that. In between, you'll also see him doing his warm up sets, his side lateral raises, etc. etc. My routine today is just going to be pulls, dips, just in preparation for the tournament that's coming up on Saturday. So stay tuned. Let's get it. We're going to start. With shoulders today, we're going to go for, through a light warm-up. We're going to just do side lateral raises, staple warm-up I'm always doing. I got the 15-pound dumbbells. I'm just going to go for 12 reps, two sets today. today. He's doing side ladder raises too. He's warming up. He's going to be going through the same routine as me, just not with as much weight or weighted as all. Come on, just 12 reps. 12. Good. All right, like I said, just two sets of side ladder raises today. Don't forget, when doing any shoulder movement, especially side ladder raises, Imagine you're lifting your arms up from your shoulder joint. Remember, the shoulder is just one joint. It can be pivoted around. It's a very mobile joint. Pretend you're just lifting your arms from there. Hop, set two. warm up with a quick pull routine. I've taught you guys this myself. So we're just going to do set one. Just for my warm up now, I'm going to just be dead hanging. And go for a 30 second dead hang. to build up his shoulder pressing strength. That's good, put it back. So we're gonna stay at the bar the whole time. We're not gonna be increasing any weight. And he's gonna have a strict two minute break and he's gonna go five reps, five sets. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna be implementing, implementing the same techniques that I'm teaching you guys to increase your reps. So right now I got on a 45 to 10 to five, 60 pounds. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do a 25 second dead hang. From there, I'm going to go into one pull only. Now, the reason why I teach you guys the dead hangs to increase your reps, the reason why I'm going to be doing it, now I have this added weight on my body. I could dead hang body weight, let's say a minute, two minutes, easy, right? Now my body has 60 more pounds on it. It is not used to supporting this weight. So me dead hanging that position 
is teaching my body and my nervous system to get comfortable just holding extra weight on it. I'm not going to be doing any pulling, it's just a dead hang first. I'm going to be doing one rep at the end, but the point of the dead hang is to get my body comfortable at holding this weight strapped onto me. I don't want to wear it as a vest because it's different distribution. During the tournament, I'm going to be wearing a belt, and again, weight distributed between your legs just hangs different and feels different. It also moves around. When you have a vest on, it's stagnant on your shoulders. So, what I'm going to be doing now, like I said, 25 second dead hang, one pull up. One, two, dead hang in a pull position, I'm going to do a support hold, 25 seconds, locked out position, still got the 60 on, then I'm going to go right into a negative hold, hold for 5 seconds and press up. So like I said, my pops is going to be doing 5x5 five five strength training right now. He's got the bars working on standing military presses. Form's looking good. So I'm going to keep him at the bar the whole time. If he completes all five sets with five reps with his strict two-minute break, next week when we're working on this movement, I will increase the weight for him. How'd that feel, pops? All right. All right, so set two. What we're going to be doing now is taught you guys this method also. Instead of doing a dead hang first, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be doing an isometric chin over the bar hold. I took off 10 pounds, so I only have a 45 and a 5 on me right now. 50 pounds only, totally before I had on 60. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to go for a 25 second chin over the bar hold right into a 25 second negative dip hold. So, one. Five second negative. Back up a little bit. Get me in the Alright, so here's my pops' his fifth set of standing military press. As you can see, it's starting to become a struggle for him, but he ends up getting through set five with the strict two minute breaks. So here you're gonna see I have him holding out a locked out position at the end just to get stronger with that weight in general. So the third method I'm gonna be doing today. So I talked about this before, timed reps. So I got the 45 and a 10. What I'm gonna be going for right now, 25 pulls, 25 dips and I'm going to be doing pyramid style like I taught you guys. So what I'm going to do is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 total is 25 reps of pulls 
And then I'm going to go to dips and I'm going to try to bang out 25 and two clips. I'm going to try to hit 15 and 10. So on the pose, it's going to take me a little longer. I'm obviously stronger on the dips, but I got 55 pounds strapped on. And now we're going to time this whole routine. 25, 25, but my routine to hit the 25 pose. And my best way to finish it is going to be 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So let's get it. Symmetric chin hold. So my muscles are a little fatigued at this point. But I'm taking about four or five minute breaks in between each routine right now. I'm pretty rested. Let's get it. Five. So I can't front. The weighted pull ups are the toughest part of the routine for me. I breeze through the dips. And the muscle ups have seemed to have been pretty easy as well. It's the weighted pose that I've been focusing on majority of my work to build up the endurance and the strength that I need to get through these reps as fast as possible. That rep don't count. Two more.
It's 25-25. All right, so Pops just finished off five by five standing military press. He's now gonna go into chin ups, holds. You're gonna start body weight only, do one set, 10 second chin over the bar, then we're gonna add weight to him for the next consecutive set. So let's go, 10 second hold. Let's go. Leg straight, good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, easy. All the way down. There we go. Pops, set number two. We got a 10 pound strapped on. Let's go. We're gonna go for another 10 second hold, chin over the bar. Come on, chin up. Over, leg straight, good. Good, and if you guys remember, eight, seven, six. The last time you guys seen in the back of my video, he was doing just singles and body weight, taking minute breaks in between. Now he's doing singles, but wait on, all right, good dad, come down. Perfect. So, he's already up to doing weighted sets. That's progress right there. All right, so the last routine is gonna be body weight only. I'm gonna go for 25 pulls as fast as I can, right to 25 dips as fast as I can. But you're gonna see now, I'm gonna add isometric hold, dead hang before I even start my 25 pulls. And on my last rep, even if I don't hit 25 straight, on my last rep of the 25th rep, I will hold an isometric chin over the bar. Same thing when I get to my dips, I'll imp implement the isometric holds in the lockdown position and the negative along with the reps. This is body weight only. Last routine for the day. Last routine up until training day. So, 25, let's get it. So look, that's a wrap for the training routine. This is the Monday before my tournament. I compete on Saturday. So I got five days ahead of me. I'm not gonna do any training up until then. Maybe a few body weight sets here and there just to stay fluid. But uh you saw, I literally implemented every technique that I taught you guys, how to increase your pull-up reps, push-up reps, 
dip reps in the past, I implemented every technique. This is how I've been training for the past three weeks leading up to my competition on Saturday. It's all been weighted training. I've been using different weights throughout each session. Depends on the type of modality I was working on. And as you saw today, I did all different types of the modalities of training. And as you saw, the weights varied accordingly. So you guys can use these tools with weight, without weight, body weight, don't matter. They're gonna help you increase your reps and get stronger in general. So hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the competition footage. If you're free and you can come through, it's at Wingate Park, 2 p.m. October 17th. And to like always, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, Bar Naturals. All right, final set for my pops. You got 15 on, come on, get up. Get up, get up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, come down. All right, drop all the weight. Take all the weight off. Yeah, just drop the belt off like that. There you go. Right back up. Body weight hold. Come on. Up. 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 Good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Come halfway down. Halfway. A little lower. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. All the way down. Knees up. All right. Good. And yo, don't forget, I got exclusive content on my Patreon account. If you guys are looking for some extra workouts you guys can follow, I got beginner, intermediate, and advanced routines. Each month I put out new plans. I also put out exclusive videos and certain tips that you guys can see only on Patreon. And like always, guys, on YouTube, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. And yo, we're almost at 10,000. Share these videos. Let's get me to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Come on, guys. Peace out.